गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर दिव्या टूडेज टॉपिक इज ऑरिजन एंड इवोल्यूशन ऑफ ब्रायफाइटा सो ब्रायफाइटा स्मॉल नॉन वेस्कुलर लैंड प्लांट्स दे रिक्वायर वॉटर फोर रिप्रोडक्शन एंड द डिफाइनिंग फीचर ऑफ ब्रायफाइट्स आर दैट देयर लाइफ साइकिल फीचरिंग अल्टरनेटिंग हैप्लॉयड एंड डिप्लॉयड जनरेशन विथ ए डोमिनेट ब्रांच gametophytic stage and the term biophyta has its origin in the greek language referring to plants that swell upon hydration so origin of bryophytes so the bryophytes are quite soft delicate and therefore they lack fossil records so all the views based on the evidence under the following three heads first evidence from comparative morphology of the living plants first evidence from ontogeny of the living plant third evidence based on analogy with the living plants of other group bryologists are divide, divided into two schools of thoughts on the origin of bryophytes one school of thought support pteridophytian hypothesis and one support algal hypothesis of the origin of bryophytes pteridophytian uh, hypothesis so according to this the bryophytes <coughs> have been descended from the pteridophyta by means of reductions though they formulated their argumented on the basis of the following two features so close similarity between the sex organ of two group resemblance between sporogonium of anthocerus sphagnum and trimino sporeg sporangium of fossil stadophytes like sporogonids and coniophytes so this is the theory is strongly supported by some of the scientists such as lang kinston and scott excel and kusher so affinities if you talk about affinities to so similarities of their pigment they have a similarities and uh, structures of cell wall foods reserve reproductive method and life cycle in scott introduced the idea 1950 19 uh, 11 so presence of chlorophyll and plastid in the sporogonium of moss and anthocerus and presence of stomata on the sporogonium of anthocerus and the apophysis region of capsule of mosses so this figure shows like sporogonium of mosses they have a peristome tooth epi uh, epiform and the sporangium sporangium this is a longitudinal section of sporogonium of anthocerus in a kashyap 1919 so uh, equisetales is divided uh, in three order marcinsetales jungerminales and anthocerotales and haskell he advanced the origin of the bryophyta from the algal through the silophyte uh, silotales uh, by simplification so algal hypothesis uh, these are the similarities so first is amphibian nature second is presence of flagellated spermatozoid third is presence of free water at the time of fertilization alga like protonema bower 198 so bryophytes show resembles with the green algae chlorophyce so photosynthetic pigments like chlorophyll a chlorophyll b carotene lutein and phylogenthin so they have a starch as a reserved food material filamentous protonema in the juvenile stage so fresh view 1916 1945 based on comparative study of various algal group gradually reduction of conductive tissues in aerial plants such as uh, sargassum and heterotrichous habits as in pitophorales parenchymatous structures of erect filament as in laminarials and fucales so these are figure shows the sargassum and pitophorales and fucales smith 1955 so bryophyta have orig originated from chlorophyce primitive form established in area having plenty of water and gradual changes from aquatic to terrestrial this lead to the establishment of more massive plant body and evidence of moisture as per smith fritchell a member of kitophorales may be probable near to the 
primitive ancestor for bryophytes. So again, the supporters of the hypothesis also believe that sex organ of bryophytes have been evolved from ectocarpus algae. So these figures shows the origin of bryophytes and illustrating the hypothetical origin of the anthridium and archegonium from the pleurolocular sporangia of certain type of a pheophysi like as ectocarpus. So evolutions of bryophytes. There are two theories regarding evolution of bryophytes. The first theory is upgrade and progressive evolution theory. Second one is downgrade and regressive evolution theory. First is progressive evolution theory. So there is a progressive evolution which means that it starts with the simpler form and terminates in complex form. Caviar, Campbell, and Smith supported this. This theory will the first evolved bryophyta was Spheorixia, a hypothetical type which combined the present-day genus Sparocarpus. Kerefs 1910 proposed progressive theory and showed a phylogenetic line of evolution in bryophyta. So, this is the phylogeny. This figure shows the phylogeny of the bryophytes. Huh? So, regressive and downgrade evolution theory. So, the primitive bryophytes were most like in appearance and this view has been supported by Wittstein, Kershaw, Perakos, and Jimmerman and Mehta. This is a phylogeny. And in present day classification of bryophyta, the bryophyta is classified in three classes like Hepatocopsida, Anthropsida, and Bryopsida. In Hepatocopsida classes, uh, contain three thirty genera and eight thousand species, and Anthropsida contains seven genera and single order, and Bryopsida contains uh, seven hundred genera and 4000 species also so based on the structure of gametophyte they are classified further distributions of some common bryophytes in northeast india in arunachal pradesh this is the cythodium cavri and arum species is found and uh, phyoxeros levis species in awesome Assam, Polytrichium piliferum and Bryum uh, capillifery species found. Uh, Phylontos fontana and Phylontos hestata is found in Manipur. Brekali, um, Brachythysium and Buchkani and like Targinonium tar hypophyla is found in Meghalaya. Bryum alpinium and Atricum undulatum. Is found in Mizoram. Dumeri, uh, Dolterra, Hizusita, and Frulena radii found in Nagaland. Asteria, Keshiana, and Brylum, Shudu, Trichenium is found in Sikkim. Trimetodon, Longifolds, and Garkia, Lucosa is found in Tripura. Thank you.